Hi there, today I'm going to talk about my experience applying for an exchange year in Japan. Hello there and welcome back to my channel. This is the second video of my exchange year in Japan series, where I talk about how it was living in Japan, going to Japanese school, learning the language, school uniforms <laughs> and so on. Today's video is part two of the application process. So if you're interested in living abroad or applying for an exchange year in Japan yourself, keep watching and subscribe. In the previous video I talked about costs of an exchange year and scholarships. So if you didn't see that one make sure to check it out, the link is in the description box. The organization for which I applied is called YFU. YFU is a non-profit international educational organization that offers exchange programs for students for the length of a year, half a year, and they even have a program for short-term exchanges and other programs depending on what country you're staying in. If you are interested in hosting an exchange student, they can also help you with that. Now, depending on what country you live in, there might be different options available in terms of destination. Germany offers Japan as a destination for your exchange, but when I went on yfu.org, there were only a few countries listed and Japan wasn't among them. So check what they offer in your country and if your dream destination isn't available, I'm sure there's other organizations that you can check that do offer that destination. So first you need to fill out the application form, who would have thought? Which you can do either online or you ask them to send you a hard copy, fill it in and send it back. Easy. When I applied, I also had to send recent copies of my school reports and a motivational letter in German as well as in English. Now, at the time, I had never written anything like that in English or German. And since the first foreign language I studied was French and English came second, I was not very confident in my English writing and also I had no idea what to write. So that took me some time to figure out. But luckily a friend of mine who then also applied helped me with the English translation also let me use her computer since we didn't have one at home. So after a few weeks, like three or four, I received an invitation for an interview. These interviews are held in little groups of applicants who usually applied for different destinations, so they're not your opponents. In that interview they're asking all kind of different questions that you should discuss and just tell them your opinion on different topics. Now I remember that I was incredibly nervous because I had never been in a situation like that before and it was very important to me. They do these interviews to establish whether or not someone is fit to do an exchange. I mean, I was 16 at the time and I was gonna be 17 during the exchange and you're far away from home, probably not speaking the language of the country you're going to live in for the next 10 months and not knowing anyone besides your host family, not knowing anyone at school unless your host siblings go to the same school. But I think it's safe to say that that's not for everyone. I remember there was a little boy in that group who looked like he was 12 years old, really tiny and really shy and didn't say a word during the whole interview which was like an hour or so long. Putting yourself in the position of the interviewer, would you send a little boy like that, or a little girl for that matter, to an exchange where they don't have their parents to talk to, they maybe don't speak the language, they're surrounded by new people that they don't know, and live in a different culture. I'm not saying that that boy shouldn't go, but maybe it was a year too early for him. There is a recommended age span that they say is best for an exchange year, but if you're slightly too young or too old, don't hesitate to contact them because it depends much more on your character than on your age, I think. So one question I remember from that interview was this. Imagine there's one spot left for an exchange in Japan and you have to choose between the following applicants. The first one is a girl who thinks it would be interesting to go to Japan and experience the inferior role of a woman in the family and in general. The second one said that he was interested in the fusion of tradition and modern life and just overall in living in a country 
which has a culture so different from his own. So this is the kind of situation they might ask you to share your thoughts on. But they don't ask you directly. So if you don't say something coming from your own initiative, you won't really have the chance to give them any impression of you. This is not the time to be shy. Not in that moment. Just say something. It was hard for me too because I was young. As I said, I was never in a situation like that before. Maybe you haven't either. But yeah, say something. <laughs> After the group interview, there's also going to be individual interviews. To tell you the truth, I don't remember much from this interview because I was so, so nervous. Even more nervous than I was during the group interview. I don't remember much, but basically it was similar to things you most likely wrote in your motivational letter. Why do you want to go abroad? Why did you choose this country? Why do you think you are fit for this experience? How do you think this program will benefit you in the future, etc. The same goes for the group interview, but I don't think you really need to prepare for this. Just take a deep breath and state your honest opinion. That's what they're interested in. Tell them what you're thinking. You have to send your school report. And I understand that for some destination countries, particular grades might be important. But I think your character and your reactions in the group discussion and your opinions are far more interesting for them to know. Also, with YFU, you, you can put second and third choice of destination in case you get accepted but there are not enough families to host someone. So you can do that if you have other destinations that you would like to go to. I think I didn't put anything. I don't remember if I put second and third choice. I think I didn't want to but some people told me just do it. I think I didn't. So after watching this video, let me know in the comments, did you do an exchange year before and was it easy to apply or did you find it complicated? And if you had interviews as well, were they similar to the ones that I described? I'm sure this will help people who want to apply for a program like this in the future. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about living in Japan and going to Japanese school. If you have any further questions regarding this topic that you would like me to answer in a future video, don't be shy to ask and leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Jenny!